Tyree Community Development Trust has been going for about 15 plus years and it's very much a community-based approach to helping the island continue in an environmentally sensitive way, sustainable development for the island. We're building a community uh, filling station uh, to replace the existing uh, petrol pumps on the island. Uh, they've been operated under private hands for, for a long time and um, they've reached the end of their working lives. So along with local subcontractors, we have installed two fuel pumps, uh, one interceptor, two fuel tanks, a control kiosk and a complete new drainage system, which discharges into a crate system soakaway. There's uh, CCTV cameras fitted on so, you, so the site can be monitored remotely. All the equipment that's on here has got backup systems, leak detection systems. There's an interceptor that's got leak detection on it as well uh, and oil warning alarms. So if there's anything happening on the site, they know straight away. Okay, the new fuel station will be, will be a great asset for us. That means we can, I can send the guys around to get fuel. For, uh, again, I say first thing in the morning or last thing at night, late on, we can then we can start our day earlier, we don't have to wait about and fuel the boats up, we can have the boats fueled up ready. As a community hall, this project will benefit the community tremendously. It will give people the chance to get fuel away from the 9 to 5 regime or and out of hours. A lot of crofters and farmers are busy doing stuff throughout the day, they can nip, they can nip away now. It would be fair to say that it's been a learning process for, for all of us. Um, there's been a, quite a lot of logistical challenges out here on Tyree, some of the, the difficulties with transport etc. Um, but uh, the, the main contact that we've had with Adler and Alan uh, through Jock has been consistently clear. Um, we can pick up the phone and have a conversation. We work on the problems that have come up together. Um, so generally speaking, very happy. So the design of the fuel station has been designed to fall away from the public highway um, into a drainage system which will catch any unwanted spillage and clean through the interceptor and discharge with the soap away. Um, there is a tanker stand, obviously for the drive on of vehicles. We've added an electric charging point, so we're future-proofing the development for as we start to phase that out. But it's going to be a, a need for a good long while yet on the island, so it's really important that we have a reliable facility for people to use.